so before I do anything today, I need to make my new C41 chemicals. So that's what we're gonna do. I gotta develop some film before work. It's already two, I work at five. Ah! I'm just waiting for the developer and Blix to cool down to 102 degrees. I actually threw the developer in the fridge. I should probably do the same with the Blix. What I'm in the process of doing is I loaded up a 35 millimeter 100 speed ektar roll into my tank, waiting for that to cool down, and then we'll go over those pictures. They're just uh, what's left of my photo shoot I did on Monday with my friend Jeff. So this is a part of the weekend wrap up. We're gonna go over the pictures that I shot, what I shot them with, and what film stocks and all that jazz. So I gotta develop this film. It's already 2.35, I work at five. Time is just flying by. So that's that. Finished developing, finished scanning. You saw all the pictures that I shot. I wanted to go over the rolls and the cameras that I used before I called it quits on making this video. The first roll film that I shot was the Kodak Ektar 100. Not a portrait film. I didn't intend on using it for the portrait shoot that I did the other day, but I ended up using it anyway. I just went with it because we were in a pretty wide open area and I know that film is really good for landscapes and stuff like that, but I wasn't happy at all with the color tone like his skin tones and stuff like that they were definitely like pink or green tried to even it out a little bit in Lightroom but I learned from that mistake I'll be going back to using Portra for my portraits because you know you just can't beat the look of Portra 400 just the skin tones in that film is amazing and the other roll film that I shot the Kodak Tri-X 400 pushed to 1600 I always push it to 1600 I probably sound like a broken record every time I make these videos but as for the cameras I don't know if you saw the other day in the last maybe the last video no the video before that I got a Canon FTB it's the black one came with a 35 millimeter it's so buttery it had a CLA right before I got it when you advance the film it just fills so good. It's just buttery smooth. I'm probably more in love with this camera than I should be. What can I say? And then I also used my other Canon FT, the old school version. You know, one's got color, one's black and white. I just always have them with. I can shoot these cameras without even thinking. They have great meters in them and they just take great pictures. The glass that I have for these. So now I have a 35, a 28, and a 50. The only thing I don't have is anything telephoto, but I don't shoot with a telephoto lens. I would like to get a 135 for the portraits or, or an 80. Even an 80 millimeter would be great. So that's next on the bucket list to get for these cameras. But yeah, 
uh, color, black and white, or black and white and color, or, you know, vice versa. These are always with me. They're in my bag. I'm in heaven right now shooting these cameras. So as for pictures this week, I really didn't shoot much. I mean, other than that photo shoot on Monday, I think I did a little bit of street stuff or I guess street photography or whatnot um, during the week, you know, on my way to work and stuff like that. It's just been a, a hectic work week for me. I, I'm on like an eight day stretch in a row, so it's just been like rough for me to just get off of work and go shoot, because that's pretty much what I always do, but I've just been like super tired. Also, I want to rescan all the 120 film that I shot before I got my Epson scanner, because I used to <laughs> I used to do this like janky scanning with a, a Canon, just like, you know, printer, copier, scanner, all in one deal that are not meant to scan negatives. I, I used to just take an iPad and put it on top of the negative with a white background and then scan it, you know, so it has the overhead light scanning the film. I guess it gave it a kind of look, kind of like a lo-fi look, but I, I want to see those pictures with a proper scan. So I think I'm going to go through and rescan all my 120 film from 2014 and 15. Maybe there's stuff on there that I didn't even realize that I had. I kind of just want to also re-archive everything. That's probably going to be one of my Wednesday videos is going to be how I scan and save and edit everything. That along with developing. I'm going to be doing a developing C41 video and a developing black and white video. Those are gonna be separate. I'm not gonna do them all in one, but I feel like I should show you my way of doing things. Kind of fits with, you know, me having a photography channel now. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to talk about. I have been rereading this uh, Todd Heido book. Um, it's just got a lot of useful info on it, you know, kind of his technique on shooting landscapes and portraits and stuff like that. It's definitely a book that I pick up probably twice a year and reread. It's super easy. And you can also pick this up at Barnes and Noble. It's just a good book to learn from. Todd Heido is definitely like one of my favorite photographers right now. But there's this like really good stuff in here. He's just, he's a genius. He does a lot of photography through the window of his car. I'm gonna see if I can find one of those crazy shots that he does through the window, like this stuff. He does that through the window of his car. I don't know, check it out. It's definitely worth looking into. Other than that, I think that's about it. I haven't done a Sunday video in a while. I've just been so behind. I don't know how I used to make videos every single day, but two times a week is definitely enough for me now. All the new subscribers, what's up guys? Thanks for subscribing. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe guys, and keep leaving comments down below. Love talking to you guys. It's always fun, and I will see you on Wednesday. I'm going to be doing... Hold on. My Wednesday video is going to be a review on the Canonet. So that's going to be pretty fun. I love this camera. I'll see you then.